สวัสดีค่ะ We meet again at Thai Kitchen with Brenda นะคะ Today I'm going to share with you how to make sticky rice and mangoes or mangoes and sticky rice whatever that you prefer to call it นะคะค่ะ The ingredients for mangoes and sticky rice นะคะ What I have here is uh, sticky rice นะคะ This is the support San Patong sticky rice from Chiang Mai Thailand นะคะ And the package look like this นะคะ And you also can find the sticky rice This is also sticky rice from the uh, uh, Chiang Mai Thailand นะคะสันปะตอง sticky rice from Chiang Mai Thailand look like this นะคะ All these sticky rice you can find at the Asian uh, supermarkets ค่ะ um, What I have here is um, I soak the sticky rice นะคะ in here นะคะ But before I soak it I wash it three times นะคะ Until the water become clear นะคะ And then I soak it for 45 minutes นะคะ uh, Because today I'm going to show you how to make this sticky rice in the microwave นะคะ I also have uh, white sugar, coconut milk, sea salt นะคะ And over here I have pre-roast mung bean นะคะ Over here And I also have fresh uh, panda leaf นะคะ This is what panda leaves look like นะคะ If you cannot find uh, fresh panda leaves, sometimes it's uh, difficult to find it, especially in Calgary, Alberta. Okay? So you can also find it in the uh, frozen, the frozen one. Okay? And then I will show you how to use it. Okay? And over here, of course, I have uh, mangoes. Okay? All details, ingredients of these mangoes and sticky rice okay, will be listed down below. Okay? And this recipe okay, is for four servings. Okay? This is the mung bean นะคะ or the small green beans นะคะ I roll roasted นะคะ and then I put it on top of the sticky rice and mango to add the crunchiness on it นะคะ Some people did not like it because of the it's hard to chew on นะคะ So that's why it's optional ค่ะ Preparation for the uh, sticky rice นะคะ What I have it here is that I soak it in here for 45 minutes นะคะ Then you wash it นะคะ The way you wash the sticky rice you just wash it like this นะคะ Gently wash it นะคะ You drain the water out, naka, and then you wash it again for two times, naha. After you uh, uh, massage it, naka, gentle massage it. Okay, now I'm going to pour the water out, naka. I'm going to wash it for two more times, naha, and then I'm going to show you how to uh, prepare with the panda leaves, ka. Just like I said, after we soak it for 45 minutes, naka, so I wash it uh, uh, two times, naha, and then after that I add. Um, about one third cup of the uh, water, tap water in the sticky rice. Okay? You can see that uh, the water is down the bottom. Okay? You can see it right here. Can you see it? Okay, for the uh, panda leaf, okay? of course you have to uh, uh, wash it first. Okay? So I just take it off the, off the stem just like this. Okay? This is what I have. I wash it already. Okay? And I have about um, six of them here. Okay? Uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you how to fold it. Okay, I'm going to fold it like this. Uh -huh. Okay, fold down like this. Uh -huh. And I fold like this. And tie the knot. Uh -huh. Just like this. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, put it the, on the bottom of the. Uh, of the sticky rice like this, okay? put the bottom there and cover with the, uh, the rice. Uh -huh. The reason that we put the uh, panda leaves in there because panda leaves it gives this aroma of a very nice and sweet aroma. Okay? And then you cover it. Okay? I'm going to put in the uh, microwave uh -huh, for 8 minutes. Uh -huh, 8 minutes, but I'm going to do it uh, 5 minutes first. Okay? And then I'm going to take the sticky rice out. I'm going to uh, stir it. Uh -huh. Flip the sticky right over and then I'm going to do it again in microwave for three minutes. Uh -huh. I'll show you later on how to do it. But now I'm going to put it in microwave for five minutes first. Okay, here's my sticky rice. Uh -huh. I'm going to put it in microwave. Uh -huh. Okay, here's my sticky rice. Uh -huh. I'm going to put it in microwave. So here's our uh, sticky rice that has been in the microwave for five minutes. Here I'm gonna flip it. Okay? You can smell the um, aroma of panda leaf. Okay? Mm. 
when I flip it over, I'm going to still leave the panda leaves in there, นะคะ And then I'm going to microwave it for another three minutes, นะคะ While uh, sticky rice is cooking in the microwave, นะคะ let's make the uh, coconut milk. ค่ะค่ะ place the deep pot, นะคะ on a medium high heat on your stove, นะคะ and then add one can of coconut milk. Keep stirring it, นะคะ because we're going to heat up the coconut milk, นะคะ don't let the coconut milk boil over, นะคะ and just going to heat it up and let it bubble a little bit, นะคะ then you add uh, sugar, นะคะ and sea salt, นะคะ keep stirring it until sugar and sea salt melt, นะคะ and then you can uh, turn the heat off, นะคะ if the coconut it's uh, bubble up, นะคะ you can turn the heat down to low, นะคะ just like this, ค่ะ Okay, here our sticky rice have been in the microwave for three minutes. Okay, the total of the uh, sticky rice cooked in the microwave, nah, eight minutes. Nah, forty-five minutes soaking. Nah, eight minutes cooking and in the microwave. Nah, so here it is. Nah, it's hot. Be careful. Whoa. Nah, and then I'm going to put one cup of coconut milk that we just cooked. Nah, I'm just going to pour it in like this. Nah. There, uh -huh. and then you just stir it a little bit. Okay. Don't worry that there's too much of coconut milk in here okay, because of the sticky rice will absorb all the coconut milk. Okay. I, I still leave the pan and leaves in there okay, to. Okay. There, like this. And you will cover it okay, and let the sticky rice soak in the coconut milk for the 20 minutes. Okay. 20 minutes. Okay. Put it aside. While we are soaking sticky rice in coconut milk, okay, we can prepare mangoes. Okay. And then uh, this is the mangoes that I got from the markets. Okay. This is the mangoes from Mexico. Okay. We have them in the market here in Calgary. We have two kinds of the uh, mangoes that I use. Okay. One is from the Philippines. Okay. The one from Philippines it comes in um, late January, Naka, and it's about uh, late May, Naka, it finished, Naka, and then after that, the Mexican mangoes come in, Naka. Mexican mangoes is a little bit small, Naka, compared to uh, Filipino mangoes. Now, Filipino mangoes are a little bit bigger, Naka, and both of them can be used in the mango and sticky rice, Naka. Um, what I'm going to uh, share with you today is that how to select mangoes, Naka. When I go and get the uh, mangoes, Naka, I will buy it like this, Naka. A little bit green, okay? and then I will let it um, sit for one week, okay? and then I will use it. Okay? So this is the one that it's um, it have been here for one week. Okay? It's uh, all yellow. Okay? But if you use this kind of the uh, mangoes, okay? it's green. It's going to be uh, sweet and a little bit sour okay? because of the uh, skin is still green. Okay? And uh, when you buy the mangoes, okay? make sure that you buy it. There is no darkness. Okay? You see this darkness, it means that it's old already. Okay? If it's turned, it have the spot of the darkness, okay? you have to use it within two or three days. Otherwise, your mango is going to be not good. Okay? So you see this, see that? And especially this one, they say big dark. Okay? And here, okay? here is a little bit, this is not the dark, this is the mark from the mangoes. Now, this is good mangoes. Okay? It's nice and smooth and it's quite firm. Okay? And if you buy it, for example, you can see the skin, the little bit wrinkles here. That just means that old mangoes. Uh -huh. So what you need to do is that you need to select green mangoes. Okay? If you don't want to use it right away, you select green mangoes. Leave it for one week. If you want to use it right away, now you select the, the mangoes that are nice and smooth skin and the yellow mango just like this. Okay? If you have question okay, related to the mangoes, okay, you can post uh, your question on my YouTube okay, and then uh, I will try the best to answer your question. Okay, okay, okay I uh, put my sticky rice in a bowl like this. Okay. Oops. Uh -huh. Then I put it over here. I'm going to uh, peel my mangoes. Uh -huh. 
to peel the mango up. This is what I meant by the dark spot, nakah. So I'm gonna use my uh, mangoes with the dark spot first, nakah. To peel the mango, nakah, you cut the uh, um, the. This is the step to to the mangoes. Now you cut the uh, things off first, nakah, and you peel it, nakah. This is the way we peel it in Thailand, nakah. We peel away from our body, uh, uh, from your, from you, nakah, like this, nakah. But in the Western world, you peel it like this, nakah. I not even know how to peel it like this because I'm not get get used to it. Okay, you peel it like this, right? And but we peel it like this. Okay, this is different culture how the way we do things. Okay, but both way is the the right way. Okay, there is no right and wrong way to peel the mangoes. Okay, you see this one, the dark one. So you just cut a little bit deeper to get the dark spot out. See that? This is banana leaves, by the way. Okay. Frozen banana leaves. We don't have fresh banana leaves here in Calgary. Okay. You can arrange it, make it look nice. Okay. And uh, this one, I also use it too, uh, the side. Arrange any way you like, okay? make it beautiful, anything you like. Okay? And then this is my um, roasted mung beans. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it a little bit on. This is optional, okay? you don't have to. Okay? You just roll roast this one on the uh, stove okay? and then uh, put it on top of your... Also, you serve it with the uh, coconut milk. Okay? Remember the coconut milk that we make? So we serve it with coconut milk in here. Okay? Here, how we serve our sticky rice and mangoes. Okay? What you have to do is that just uh, scoop a little bit of this coconut milk and you just pour it on like this, okay? And then a little bit in on the mangoes, okay? There, and then you eat it, okay? So we serve this uh, sticky rice and mangoes as a dessert, okay? I hope you're enjoying it. Bon appétit, okay? To encourage Thai Kitchen with Brenda to post more delicious recipes, please click like, share, and subscribe down below. You can also leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you.